What's happening guys? Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Thanks for coming back to the channel. We appreciate all of you. Today's video is going to be a little bit of fun. I've got a new little toy I've got for my Jack Russell. Whether you find it controversial or not, I don't. So we're going to go ahead and go through with the video. But today's video is going to be about the best muzzles for Jack Russell Terriers. How to put one on there. This new little muzzle I just got for Luna. And I will show you the muzzle, kind of go through the box and what you get. And then I will also show you how it works on Luna. So stick around for just a second and we will be right back. All right, guys, real quick before we dive into the video, for anybody who has been finding these videos helpful, if you like the content, if it is helping you with your Jack Russell, be sure to give me and Luna a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button down below. And as always, don't forget to go check out terrierowner.com. Hundreds of blog posts on that website with helpful information about raising a Jack Russell Terrier and other breeds of Terriers. Go check it out. For now, let's go ahead and start diving into this topic of muzzles for your Jack Russell and let's unbox this new little toy I've got for Luna. All right guys, so this new muzzle that I got, I'm gonna show you the box here. I've already got it taken out, but it is the dog muzzle and it's actually labeled as the gentle muzzle guard. It is a soft muzzle. It fits so beautifully, I love it. It is awesome for the price. I just got it here earlier today. Here's kind of what it looks like on the back with the sizing chart. Awesome muzzle. Uh, guys, I will put the link in the description below. It does come, as you can see, in small, medium, large, extra large. And then it does have the measurements, and these are on the website as well. So you actually measure around their snout or their mouth to determine the sizing. If, you, if it's a Jack Russell Terrier, which I would assume it would be if you're on this channel, you're gonna go with the small. It fits her perfectly. But to be safe, make sure you just measure so that you don't have to return it. One of the awesome things about this dog muzzle though is they do offer a free swap. You don't even have to send the other one back. If you get the size wrong, they will send you a new one completely free. You just have to go to their website after you purchase it, let them know you ordered the wrong size, then you're good to go. When you buy it, you get basically this dog muzzle training guide. And what this training guide does is it basically breaks down not only how to put it on your dog, but it breaks down how to get them used to it first. And they have like really helpful videos too, guys, on their website. But it, like for the recommendations when I put it on Luna is kind of introduce it with treats. So get the nose of it here around her nose. This guy here, get it around her nose while giving her treats so that she gets comfortable with it. And then slowly put it on her and let her get used to it. Now I am an idiot and I sat there and tried to figure out how to use, it comes with like an extra collar just for walking. This guy here. Oop. I should have known by the clip that's clearly meant for a leash, but not very smart. And it comes with this extra clip. This actually will attach to the muzzle part if they happen to break it or get it loose. So it's kind of a backup. I sat there for like 20 minutes, kid you not, <laughs> thinking that I needed to attach these pieces to the muzzle itself. No, this is it. It comes ready to go. You just need to tighten the straps or loosen them depending on what the situation is. But this guy is ready to go. And let me be clear about one thing, guys. This is not the only muzzle. I actually recommend the um, the Bakersfield muzzle as well, which actually has the cage on the front. It's not the only one you can get. I just love it. I fell in love with it right away, so I wanted to make this video because Jack Russell Terriers, there is a good reason to use a muzzle for these guys. They chew, they nip, they bark. This stops all three. But this also allows them to still drink water, eat treats, eat their food, pant, you could take them exercising with this on, no problem at all. And I'll show you that when I put it on here, here in a second. But there's no reason to feel bad about putting these on your dog if they need one. If they nip, you know, friends and company when they come over, put the muzzle on them. It's 
it's not going to hurt them. That's why it's a soft muzzle. If it were to hurt her, I surely would not be making a YouTube channel out of it. And I know that there's probably information out there saying that these are not good, whatever. I mean, I'm still going to use it for the purposes. It's not on her all day. But if I got people coming over and I don't want her jumping and nipping, especially if it's little kids, muzzle's going on. And then this guy also comes with a full little tutorial, isn't that cute, of how to put it on. I suck with directions, so it didn't help me at all, but it will probably help you guys because if you ask anybody I know, I am just, I'm a visual learner, even though there's pictures on this, it didn't help me very much. So let's go check this thing out. I'm only bringing this piece because again, these don't connect to it. Save yourself an hour. So let's go check this guy out. Again, guys, as I'm walking out here to put it on her, why would you put a, a muzzle on one of these Jack Russell Terriers? Because when they are young, they nip and not aggressively, they bark and they chew. So if you can stop all three of those for $14 without hurting your dog, why wouldn't you? I mean, seems pretty common sense, but that's coming from a guy who can't read directions. So you make your own judgment call on that. Now Luna's coming into the picture here. Luna, how do you feel about muzzles? Tell us the truth. Make the viewers know your feelings. Do you like them or not like them? Also, for the record, she is on the lead today for this video. I do not keep her on this lead all the time, but these are also very fast dogs. So me trying to put a muzzle on her for a video probably wasn't going to happen. So, all right, let's check this out. I'm going to set the camera down for a second, guys. I'm going to put this on her and I will be right back. All right, Luna, let's show these peeps what we got. My finger's on the frame. So. Oh, don't be shy. Don't be shy. It's just a muzzle. It's just a muzzle so you don't bite me. You wouldn't have to. Oh, wait. Let's get over here. Lunatic. Also guys, <laughs> undo it before you put it on them. That'll help a ton. All right. This way, come here. Did you come here? Whoa, don't put the ear in there. That would hurt. Man, look at how well she cooperated for this. That was easy. Make sure you don't clip their ears in it when you do it, guys. So here's what it looks like. She's got it on there. She can still lick. Give me a kiss. If she can lick, she can drink water. If she can open her mouth, she can chew. She can still eat treats. I tested it, I gave her a treat. Man, it is just soft around their nose. I can still fit my finger right through here. Wraps around, doesn't leave anything overhanging. Awesome, awesome muzzle. Let me see if I can get a better view of it here. She's still getting used to it. We had the other one before. But give me one second, I'll get up here. She'll probably try and kick it off. But here's a better view of it there. She can still lick still eat, still drink water, and it is secure, wrapped behind her, she can't really paw at it. It's an awesome little device for even training them not to bark or nip and chew on things. Again, if you don't need one, don't buy one, but if you deal with some of those problems or you have company over and it's been a nuisance for you in the past, highly, highly recommend it. Again, I know I'm sure I'll get plenty of videos of people who are like, oh, muzzles are terrible. You can't do that. Okay, well, you don't have to watch if you're one of those people. You can give it a thumbs down if you're one of those people. Whatever the case may be, I think that they work. I recommend them and it does an awesome job. It doesn't hurt her. It doesn't bother her and it gets the job done. So I will put 
the link in the description below for this one. And I will also link to my blog post breaking down the pros and cons of using a muzzle, what you need to be aware of, all of the ins and outs of it so that you have a better idea before you go strapping one up onto your dog and you'll be good to go. That is about all I have for you guys here today. As always, me and Luna appreciate you coming by the channel. Again, if you like these kind of videos, give us a thumbs up. If it's helpful to you, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and guys, leave us some comments. Let us know if there is a specific video you want made or a question you have. Me and Luna are happy to oblige and make that for you. We appreciate you coming by. We will see you on Thursday morning. Take care and see you next time.